hello again. Gracing our cameras today is the Tony Award winning and alluring actress currently captivating audiences in Grand Hotel, the musical. Join us in welcoming Lilian Montevecchi. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Montevecchi, what a name, what a beautiful name. Marquis, it takes the whole Marquis. You know, it's funny, funny, because in the, when Orson Welles wrote a ballet for me, long, long time ago, right. and he hated my name. Did and he, he said, you cannot go with this name. So I say, which name do you want me to have? And he, uh, my second little name is Dina. Because my father was called Dino, and he said, Dina Monti will be wonderful. I said, No way! <laughs> and how was there I to say that to Orson Welles? Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I didn't like Dina Monti. It's uh -huh. like a little chantouzi of nothing. French. Mother, French. Father, father Italian. 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 I'm, I'm a half Italian too. From where? Uh, Shishliano. My mother's oh, Jewish, yes, yes, and yes. my father's Italian. And, uh, but yeah, let's get back. Nine right. years old. Dancer. Yes. Paris. Grew up in Paris? Yes. Tell me about the days at nine in Paris when you were nine. Well, it was the war, you know. It was? It was the war. It was very difficult. And I, and I used to uh, go to my ballet school after class. Uh -huh. And my father never knew it for a year because my father didn't want me to be a dancer. And my mother hid it from him uh -huh. for one year. And after school, I used to walk from the Trocadero to Pigalle. Oh, I love it. By walk because uh -huh. there was no transportation no metro at the to, time. Uh, to take my ballet class uh -huh. and come back so I never learned anything in school because I never had time uh -huh. but I was clever enough to have my best friend who was the first of the class mm -hmm. in the morning she gives me all the devoir and I recopied it <laughs> and after a while the teacher got to us said that's very strange Look at Nicole and Lilian, they have exactly the same thing. Oh. And they kicked me out of the school, you know, because uh -huh. <laughs> I was a thief. <laughs> Who did you study with as a, ballet, a ballerina? Because you were a ballerina. Yeah. Oh, wow. My first teacher was uh, Roland Dupré, who Ooh. was at the, um, at the Opera of right. Paris. After it was Solange Schwartz, who was at the Conservatory of Paris. Mm -hmm. And after, I had all the greatest Russian in the world. Uh -huh. Preobrazhinskaya, uh -huh. Princess Shesinskaya, uh -huh. who was the mistress of the Tsar. Uh -huh. And she used to tell me those wonderful stories. When she was in St. Petersburg, oh. the Tsar bought her this enormous villa. Uh -huh. And it was a big scandal in St. Petersburg Square. Uh -huh. Princess Shesinskaya had her villa. Ah, you know something? You came to America at 18, was it? 18 yes. years old. Yes, MGM like signed you up. How did they discover you? I was in the ballet, and we, uh, we went to New York with a ballet company. Uh -huh. And John Houseman was in the audience, and at the time, John Houseman was a producer at MGM. Right. One of the biggest. And uh, I guess he liked my face. It was very cute and pixie, uh -huh. round. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You stood out. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And he asked me if I wanted to go to Hollywood to make a test. And that's how it happened. <laughs> you did make a test. I did. At MGM. Yes. And did. they signed you up for seven years. Yes. Oh, but dancing with Gene Kelly, yes. Daddy's Long Legs. That was Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire? Daddy Long Legs. Fred is Daddy's Long Legs. Fred Astaire. With Gene Kelly, we used to play volleyball. Okay. Because Roland used to love volleyball, and Gene Kelly was a great, he's a great, uh, was, uh -huh. because now we're all older. Right. But we used to play volleyball behind his house. Uh-huh. And we were great friends at the time. Leslie Caron? Yes, same Tell gang. Me, same gang, Leslie Caron. Because we started dancing together, you see. Leslie started before me with Roland. Right. And she left two years before I came into the company. Uh -huh. and, but after, she, go, she was a guest star, and we traveled all over Europe with her. Did Lillian, was Lillian Mankovecki happy at those days of your time 
at seven year contract. Think back, Lillian. Were well, you really I'm, happy? Uh, yes, I'm always happy. However, yeah. I didn't know how to deal with movie technique. Right. You know, because I'm on stage all the time, it, it's impulsivity, uh -huh. and it's there now. And movies... Because you, you have an energy of a teenager. Your energy is it's forever and ever. You've always had that? Yes. Always. Yes. It's inside of me, a volcano there. That's why I drink a lot to try to quiet down. <laughs> drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> to keep the volcano down. Oh, I love your laugh. I love your laugh. You, Lena Renault. You're friends Lina with Lena? Renault. Lena Renault. Friends with Lena? And of course I am. You were at and Paul's... Lulu Gaste. Well, when I was in Vegas, yeah. Lynn was in Vegas also. I was doing the Folie Berger, oui. and Lynn was doing the Casino de Paris. Oui. And we met, and of course... But we you were there for 10 years with the Folies Berger. Yes. Oh, la la. Tell me about 10 years in that show. Yes, I was uh, six years in Paris. Six. And this, this is where I took my retirement, actually. Uh -huh. I was so fed up to be on that stage. Were you? I decided to retire. So my farewell party was like a farewell party. Uh -huh. I mean, the flowers covered the stage. It was my last day ever on the stage. Uh -huh. <laughs> <I'm still> <laughs> <laughs> it's funny yeah, because I'm in the show I'm doing, uh -huh. I'm playing a ballerina right. who has farewell uh -huh. every year. Uh -huh. And it's my life, it's about the same thing. We have one here, his name is Charles Pierce. Oh, he closes yes. every year, oh, his last finale. It. Same thing. Oh, yes. Elvis Presley, tell me about Elvis Presley. You worked in a movie with him called King, King Creole. Creole. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley was a young kid, you know, because it was one of his first films uh -huh. he did. And Mr. Curtis was the director. Uh -huh. And he used to come early in the morning on the set and play the piano for everybody and sing before we start rolling. Right. It was very charming. And he always gave me a little uh, teddy bear and little stuffed was animal. He was a dear person, and he wanted to know about French rock and roll. Uh -huh. And as we talked before about Johnny Holiday, Je oui. he wanted to know everything about Johnny. So I brought him some recording uh -huh. of Johnny so he could compare the French rock with... Uh, right. Where did Johnny Holloway get his ideas from? In I have no idea. Because he know. did rock and roll yeah, for a long time. I don't know where. And Elvis Presley. No. Isn't he was wonderful. Yeah. Living in Paris, happy? Were you happy? Oh, I'm always happy. You're saying that always happy. But I'm but always happy. Why should what not I be happy what when it's healthy? You, we should be happy to be healthy. What a wonderful attitude. Do, you, me do you meditate? Yes, yeah, sort of. I always go to see uh, our very old friends that I take care of, sort of. And it's always a balance in my life because when I see those people who are suffering with uh, dignity and yes. uh, I cannot complain because why should I? I'm healthy and they're not and they're not saying nya, 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 nya. Uh -huh. so it's a balance but, in life too. But you, you know, you were just uh, deigned. deigned. You were just, yes, you were just deigned. Dane Montcavecki. Yes. Tell me about night. You were knighted. Yeah. Who did this? This is wonderful. The Dane Prince Montcavecki. of Malta. Pardon? The Prince of Malta. We. Oui. And I did this in 1984, I think. For in human, in humanitarian, humanitarian yeah. work, because I do a lot of benefits. Uh huh. And I, you know. So you care for people in the world. Of course world. I do. There's a lot of people who don't, though, Lillian. Well, you're very concerned. You help others. Yes. Well, you know, when one is alone, if nobody takes care of you when you get older, if you have no family anymore, you just have friends, mm -hmm. and friends are a very. We have to cherish that. Uh -huh. And we have to respect people who grow old. It's not, we all have to go through it, you know, uh -huh. the process of living. And so we should make the best of it and help each other. How do you feel being deigned? I mean, that's... I don't feel anything. I feel I, did, I don't deserve it. Oh. You know, yeah. because why should I have it? For what? It's too fast, you see, but I'm grateful to have it. But I... Why? Uh. You know? I saw you in a show, Nine, yes. on Broadway, Tony Award winner. Yes. Drama Desk winner. Oh, yes. You, I took the whole. You took, all. You took I it took all. I took it all. You did. You took it all. Nine was a great show. Oh, yes. 
It Tell just, me about that show. Did you enjoy? You enjoy everything, but that show, what dancing, what show? That well, was. this is a very funny story, Nine, because when I auditioned for it, it was no part for me. Right. My part was, play, was supposed to be played by a man. Ah. Yes. And all the, in the show, Nine, as you recall, is 21 women and one man. Right. However, when the script was done, it was not like that at all. Uh -huh. The man should play the man part. The man, and when I auditioned, I had no part, and Tommy thought, why don't I give her a part of a man? Uh -huh. And I, he gave me the part of a producer, uh -huh. which was played by a man in the movie Eight and a Half. And after he thought, well, why don't I change everything and made all the men played by women? And that's how uh -huh. nine started being 21 women. Ah, the show you're here at the Pantages right now. Oh, Isn't that creating beautiful? all scenes. I love it. Grand Hotel. Grand Hotel. Oh, what a name. An old movie that Vicky With Greta Ball Garbo. Wrote, yes. Oh, tell me about Grand. How did you get that role? That's well, great... Tommy gave it to me. He saw the film about, uh, I'm sure he saw the film a long time ago, but Many he times. saw it again after he knew me. And mm -hmm. when he saw the film, he said, this is a perfect part for Lillian. And he gave it to me. I think I'm the only actress on Broadway who never auditioned for a play. Really? Everyone really? auditioned. But you didn't have to. He no, gave it gave to it me. To you, well, you were perfect. He called me and he said, would you like to do that? It's yours. Uh -huh. You know? Well, you're the ballerina. You are the aging ballerina. Yes. That's what it's all about, isn't it? But there's others, but he thought of me first. Oh. Nice. <laughs> but I could never see you, in, but you're so wonderful in this role. It was not easy. It was very hard for me to do that role at first. Opening uh, night in New York. Wasn't great reviews of the show, really, at the moment, was it? Or was it? No. Tell me about that. Because, you see, when we were in Boston, we changed. We had one week from Boston to New York, yes, mm -hmm. for previews. Right. During that week, my character was changed from black to white. I had to learn a new song. I had to learn new lines. I had to learn this new Grushinskaya who became French instead of Russian. Russian. So I had a week of rehearsal prior to the opening. Right. That's why, that's that's why it, you see, it was hard to lose my Russian accent. Uh -huh. You know, I had a teacher get, yeah. pushing this inside my brain. Yes. So hard that even when I became French, I could not lose this Russian accent, uh -huh. who drove me crazy. So I was... Nowhere. Uh -huh. It took me time uh -huh. to understand Grushinskaya. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I didn't know how to play her either. Oh. I didn't know if she was very low, down, desperate, uh, without any humor. Uh -huh. I did not know. And little by little, now I uh -huh. know. Now she's more me than Grushinskaya. Oh, she's wonderful. But you uh, brought that out. It's great. Yeah, but it was a hard birth. Uh -huh. The but lover of yours. Yes. The lover. Who is he? He's wonderful. Yes. He's wonderful. He was a replacement on Broadway. He was. What's and, his name? Uh, Brent Barnett. Oh, wonderful. Yes, he is. Tell me about him. Well, he's, he's just so a joy exciting to, uh, on stage he, with yes. you. He's, your togetherness is wonderful. It's one part of why I took the tour. Ah. Because. When you have to have a rapport on stage every night with someone, uh -huh. it's better if you care for that someone than despise it. Uh -huh. Because you have this love and this you look and you have to... Yes. And with Brandt, it's very easy because he's adorable, charming. But it was not lo always like that in New York for ah. all my barren. Ah, I see. You know. Sometimes I had to be a better actress than I am ah. now. <laughs> <laughs> How many in the cast? The Grand Hotel. 36, I think. 36 in the cast. The dancing. Those oh, yes, it's incredible. The two dancers oh, yes. are just, oh, who yes. are they? The two dancers. The dancer. Oh, are, the ballroom uh, dancer. Yes, the ballroom dancer, of v oh. uh, Victoria and Arte. And they're just wonderful. Oh. And they have been, in New York, we have the champion of ballroom dancing, uh -huh. Pierre and Yvonne Dulaine. They're the champion, and yes. they have been dancing together for 15 years. And you see one body. Yes, 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 yes. It's just exquisite. Oh, yeah. Exquisite. It's just... I was sitting next to Robert Stack and his lovely wife yes. watching opening night. I went to see it. Yes, they're friends. And they were just... Oh, everyone yeah. in the audience. 
I just had Howard Bravo as yeah. decided to get up. It was yes. just absolutely wonderful. I love it. And, and you're exciting. Because the last time I've seen you in town was in a show called Boulevard, something yeah, about... On the Boulevard. On the Boulevard. Tell me about... My little one-woman show. Right. I loved it. Yes. Yes, you were in Pasadena. I saw you yes. in Pasadena. I took Curtis Before Harrington. Before the earthquake. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that. Do you, do you yeah. see the wall yeah. of the Pasadena yeah. Playhouse okay. fell down? Yeah. Well, just a little. Yeah, right. a little. Tell me about the On the Boulevard, your uh, one-woman show. What's... How is that written all about? Tell me. Well, it's a friend of mine, actually, who pushed me to it. <clears throat> His name is Claudio Saponi. <laughs> uh -huh. And, you know, he, would, <coughs> he pushed me to do it because I don't have too much energy to do things for myself. When things are not given to me, it's very hard for me to put myself together to do something by really? myself. I don't know how to do that because I was fortunate enough to always have something given to me. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, uh -huh. it's uh, to be spoiled and it's not good. So Claudio said, you should do something of your own. Mm -hmm. And he pushed me doing this. And mm -hmm. we started by looking at songs. Right. A song here, a song there. And we started putting together. And also it was my mother died. And I wanted to have a remembrance of Paris, of her, uh -huh. in the show of when I was a dancer. And this show became, it's a very simple show. Very. But it became um, very emotional for me and sentimental. Uh -huh. And... Uh, Tommy, you know, one day called me up and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm rehearsing. And he came and he, you know, he put his little uh -huh. paw in there with graciousness. Uh -huh. And uh, we did it really just for me to do something by myself. And it was a great success. Very, <laughs> very. <laughs> in New very York it was you a had a mixture success. of Edith Piaf in there. Oh, did you know Edith Piaf? Yes, I met her with uh, Sarah Poe in Monte Carlo awesome. before she died. Ah. And she was singing that uh, wonderful song, uh, ah. Qu'est-ce que c'est l'amour, l'amour, le grand amour. And uh, she was singing that to this... The so -po. So -po. Sarah Poe. And he had no shirt on. But we all survived. It was like this. Yeah, yeah. And when that little thing yeah, was yeah. all trembling. Trembling, you remember with the, and, and she was just, and you just cried. At the Bambino Theater? No, it was outside. Outside? I saw her no, at the Bambino. No, it's Monte Carlo. Oh, I, saw, I her. saw her at the Bambino with him. Bambino, yeah. And he got killed in an automobile accident. Yeah. I think he crashed. She sang, he sang, he's no shirt. Beautiful she, boy. Was he? But you just, she loved him Did so much. Did she really love him? He was yeah. young, and she was, ooh. She well, that's what life is all about. We always should be with younger people. Ah. It makes you. Ah. Lillian McAvecki. On your toes on. more. How about you? You have a young man in your life? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> that's what makes you <laughs> that's what makes you so young and keeps your well, energy. It's, it's you know, it's better to be around because also it keeps you you have to fight not to fight, but you have to get more pride in yourself and the way you look. Right. I think it's a good thing for everyone because it's uh, you cannot let go when you're somebody young, when you are with somebody anyway. Uh -huh. Because to be with somebody, it's already a luxury. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know how many people say, yeah. oh, but I'm um, a uh -huh. So we have to try to bring a little spirit and life and... Paris Peugeot. Folie Berger. Beautiful. You Just know, we beautiful. used to have feathers. Those feathers Just are beautiful. really incredible. And it was like a sunburst. Uh -huh. I adore to wear all those feathers, <laughs> I must say. You like feathers. Yes. Yeah. That's all the uh, Parisians love it. Yes. This is from Nine. Nine. That's a wonderful Broadway show. Oh, yes. The Tony Award. And also, you got an award for Grand Hotel. Yes. Another Tony Award. No, I got nominated. Nominated, but another nomination for a Tony. That's it. But it's great. I hope next time I do a play, I get another Tony Award. I want to have nine, like Tommy Tune. Now, you're going to be in town for a while, a few weeks. Yes, two at, more at weeks. Two more weeks here and at the Pantages Theater. You're going to be at the Grand Hotel. And tell me about the Grand, doing business. Yes, it's, you know, it's ha funny, this show, because first of all, we came here without not enough publicity. Right. So that's wrong, because right. Los Angeles, you have to bombard everybody right. with publicity. But now that people see it, it's like, you know, a Mouth. boule de neige. Yeah. Exactly. Mouth. Yeah. Yes. 
And now, every day, every day, there is more people. Uh -huh. Because it's a great show to look at, but they have, uh, you know, they have to compensate the publicity by uh -huh. saying, you should go and see that. Every time I go to a restaurant, people coming around 11 o'clock to say, oh, I just came back from the Grand Hotel. Yeah. What a great show. Yeah. Also, Looking. it's uh, without ahead. intermission, so you can go to the restaurant earlier, which is good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Tommy Toon. Yes. What kind of a guy? He's so fun with those hands. I love his hands, <laughs> always with those hands. Tell me about Tommy. Well, I really think he's fascinating. Of course he is. Fascinating. He's very special. I think uh, if he's that high and that tall, it means that he reaches something that the common of the mortal do not. If he's that tall, it's for a reason. Uh -huh. So he can grasp things that many not other people, I don't know. He is also terribly um, calm, huh? wise, uh, he meditates a lot, he's very self-centered when he works, mm -hmm. and he just lets imagination float, it just stays there and it comes. Uh -huh. uh, it's just quite He knows what he wants, he can see oh, yes. a great eye. Oh yes, he has yeah. the greatest eye ever saw, yeah. because yeah. no one makes people move as he does, yes. no one. No one has this eye. Really? I don't care what they were. I mean, you've been dancing since nine. That's no, come but on. what I mean, what he does on stage? stage it's wonderful. The staging yes. Yes. of Tommy is incredible. incredible. Yeah. Because when I watch from the wings every night, uh -huh. I'm absolutely flabbergasted of all the intertwining of people. Like if you're in a hall of a grand hotel, how on earth did he do that? Uh -huh. I mean, I'm just I don't know how. Uh -huh. It's fascinating to me. Did you ever see Grand Hotel? Never. I mean, you're always performing. I don't want to see it. You don't want to no. see it in the front? No. Who took the part in New York, for, uh, your part, your role in New York? Do you know? No. She's a ballerina. I can't remember her name. But she's from Los Angeles, matter of fact. But Wait a second. I'm <coughs> Bitum. That's okay. Zina, Zina Bitum. Bitum, yeah. She's, I didn't see her. She's nice. She helps, she helps crippled children. Oh, really? Yes. She helps just like you, my darling. Oh, that's great. She's a one. Lena. Tell me, looking back over your life. Yes. Would you do it the same way? I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. I love everything I did. I don't you, regret anything. You don't regret? No. I love everything except losing people I love. That's the only thing that makes me really cry. But, uh, you know, yeah. I have no regrets at all. Is your I family just, in uh, I Paris? I don't have family anymore. You don't have any family no more? No. You're all solo? Yeah. They're really? all in the sky, watching over me. Selenia is <laughs> very happy and very, you're very spiritual, aren't you? I don't know. Yes, <laughs> yes, I think so. What is your day like when you get up in the morning to keep this wonderful body? I know you're working all the time, but well, incredible, incredible body. What do you eat? You must, do you eat everything? Or? I don't eat breakfast, I don't eat lunch. Ah, that's the <laughs> secret. You don't eat breakfast? No. And you say you don't drink uh, no, water? No, I never do. No way. Water? It's the most horrible taste in oh. my life. Oh, will you stop it? Water? You know, also because during the war in Paris, the water was terrible. Right. And my family said never drink water. My mother never drank water. Really? And she was extremely beautiful and she had How the skin like a baby. Your skin is gorgeous. Huh? Well, you know, all the water, I mean, one should do when one wants. Who is what to tell you what to do? I think if you live long enough, you know your motor, yes? Yes. You know what makes you feel good, mm -hmm. don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. So listen to you, what your What do you eat then when you don't have breakfast, lunch? What do, what do I love salads. I love fish. I love ah. sushi. Ah. I don't eat drunk. I see. No. That's what that's what it is. No, I don't like drunk either, to tell you the truth. So ah. it's no problem Do you sleep me. before your theater, take a nap? Just no, I took a bar. I do my ballet bar, my really? ballet class at six. You take a ballet class? At I six? have to every day, yes. At six o'clock? Yes, before the show. I take a shower, I put my face on, and I go on stage. You're kidding. I have to. You don't take a rest before the performance oh, that no, night? no, I can't. Lillian. Because otherwise you just look, you know. Really? It's Such energy you have. But hand. you have to keep this. It's nice. And you know when you don't eat, it's more, you're more... Uh, Yes. yes, it's electricity inside of you, because uh -huh. you, you know that in two hours you're going to have a wonderful din-din. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's something to look forward to, you see. Uh -huh. Are you enjoying your stay this time here in LA? I adore it. 
You do like LA? I adore it. I have so many friends here. Uh -huh. And I wish we could stay longer. Yes. Because we are happy here. Uh -huh. The weather is divine. I see. And we meet beautiful people like you who invite me in your show. Ah. I understand you do just Johnny Carson just invited you today. Yeah. You're gonna be doing Johnny Carson's tonight. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Yes. And Jay Leno will probably interview you tonight. Yes. You're gonna have a good time with yes. him. Lena Reno, are you writing a book about your life? Well Come everybody on. wants me to, but you know, why should I? Is it that interesting? Mm. Looking back, do you have any you can share with my audience any experiences on stage that happened that you stuck in your mind at this time? No. That of all the years you've been in the business? Really? No, because I love mistake on stage. If I have a mistake, I'm very happy. That's because chancing. Because then it's creativity. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. So all the mistakes I have, I took, uh, I don't remember it because it was a great experience for me. Uh, How about movie roles coming up for Livian? Because you lived in Hollywood for a long time. Yeah. So I want to go back in the movies. You now. do? Yes. And I, uh, I would like to. Why not? Uh -huh. I'm as good as anybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love, uh, you're darn right. I love this. <laughs> this is from what show? Grand Hotel. Grand put it Hotel. This way. This way. Yeah. Ah, voila. Grand Hotel. This is it, yeah. This is the love of the Baron when he meets the ballerina who's going to wonderful. rejuvenate her. Yes, it's a wonderful, wonderful show. The music is so wonderful. How many songs does Lillian do in the show? One. Just one? Yes. Just one grand song. One bit. I wish I had another one. But this I love. Look at the costume and Grand Hotel. This is Hotel. divine. This is not Grand this Hotel. This is not Grand? This Looks was like a it. man called... Uh, nine? No, is this nine? No, it's just... Uh, I this did that for the Tiffany windows. Ah. I was in Tiffany windows for about three weeks. All the ballerina, uh, Makarova had one window, Carmen de la Valade and another. Voila. I had one. I don't remember the two others. Uh -huh. And uh, this was, this photo was made by Ken Duncan, uh -huh. who was a great photographer, who is in the sky now also, I'm afraid. All my friends are What's coming up with Lillian McVecky now? You're leaving Los Angeles in a few weeks. You're gone away on the tour with Dallas, Texas. You're going on a tour. Dallas, St. Paul, uh, San Diego, Sacramento, Salt Lake City. And you're Japan, you Japan. Said. God, so much work you got it. Yes. How long do you plan to stay in the show? Until January, I think. Ah, and then what's happening? Do you have anything? I buy a house in the south of France. Ah, <laughs> the south of France? Is that where you're going to? Yeah. yeah. I want to buy an old ma. Uh-huh. That's good. Yeah, because uh, I like to redo it as I want to. Uh-huh. And I want lots of animals. Ah, uh, you seem happy. I love that. You seem <laughs> very happy. You're so Why I shouldn't I be happy? I want to get your secret and keep young like you and don't eat breakfast and have lunch and, and just have a little dinner, waiting for that dinner to come. Eat early, though, right? You eat early or late? After the show. After the show. I really? cannot eat before the oh, show. So you I have a tutu to put on. What oh. am I going to do to the little waist ah. so that it's full? Yes. you got a wonderful, wonderful time here. But you know, to be happy, it's not <coughs> difficult to be happy. Just look around you and look <coughs> at yourself. It's it so is. easy to be happy. Uh -huh. To be alive. To see the sun. To smell the flower. Uh -huh. I mean, this is wonderful. And you have to create that. Is that the French attitude, or uh, is no. this Lillian McAvecki's it's attitude? It's my attitude. Is but it? My mother was like that. Yes. I never saw my mother complain, uh -huh. even when she was terribly sick. Uh -huh. My mother was great dignity, you know. Uh -huh. And why should one complain anyway? Because who really cares? That's true. When you said, "How are you?" Yes. Oh, I don't yes. feel well. Oh, you are well. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You know you.